What's going on guys? Marcus Zari here and I finally got a better camera. Um, the one that I had, um, it's the same camera, but it was it was buggy, something was wrong with it. So I took it back today and exchanged it for the same one. And this one hasn't been giving me any, any problems whatsoever. So hopefully you guys can see my face a little bit better. Um, you know, like I said, I'm trying to invest in the channel. Um, you know, it just been a lot of delays and things like that. So definitely, you know, I'm still on it. You know, I'm still here. And um, yeah, uh, I'm making another video. It's not going to be that long because I don't have that much time. And I just want to talk about one thing, really. And that's about this article here. I'm on Cointelegraph.com. Um, this is a um, good source to go to just to keep up, you know, with the cryptocurrency news and blockchain, um, just to see what's going on. And um, this is, is a way for you to um, digest the FUD and things like that. Um, for example, this was one of them. Uh, where is it at? I think it's here. Let me see. It's right here. It says right here. So, so South Korea finance minister confirms no ban on cryptocurrency. So that's what I mean. There was a lot of but that the minister was going to ban it. Um, you know, it was an article. I don't know if it's true or not. At first, they was against. They was. Um, you know, was going to ban cryptocurrency and things like that. Then, you know, the community, a lot of people um, signed petitions to tell the government, like, hey, don't do that. Um, you know, a lot of people stand up for it. So I do congratulate those people. You know, a lot of people want to um, uh, be involved with cryptocurrency. So they stood up to it. So now the minister in South Korea is saying no ban on cryptocurrency. So that's good news right there. So like I said, it, sometimes it's just best to sit back and just to wait to see to see how things are going to play out, and then you can make your um, your decision there. Um, like for me, you know, I already seen this. Um, you know, a lot of this stuff was going around, but I kind of ignored it. You know, I wasn't concerned about it because, for one, you know, I'm I'm in America, so and, you know, it really don't have nothing to do with me. But still, you know, I still want I still was aware just to see what was going to happen. So um, it looks like there's no ban. So <laughs> so. You know, so for you panic sellers, hope you, hopefully you guys didn't sell so um, because you guys sold for no reason. Um, so that's why I just good just to hold on. So but this is another article that I was reading uh, about taxes right here. That's this thing. Uh, so that's what's next. Give me a give me an iMac. <laughs> give me an Apple com a laptop. Um, that's my next on my list. But anywho, uh, the tax man. So the tax man is finally catching up on cryptocurrencies. Um, you know, a lot of people aren't paying their taxes on it. Um, for me personally, I think you should. Um, I think it's wise for you guys just to pay the tax man, um, you know, because these are digital assets. So there are a capital gains tax on them. So I don't want you guys um, to be like, you know, no, I'm not going to pay the tax man down the line. And then, you know, you're making all this money and then all of a sudden you don't got all that money. You know, you must have spent it or, you know, who knows what you did with the money. Now you don't have all that money that you made in crypto because you can make a lot of money. Now the tax man is knocking at your door like, hey, you didn't pay us. You didn't pay us our money. Right. You know, the tax man always want their money. Um, you know, they always want the piece of the pie. You know, it sucks, but hey, they, they want the piece of the pie. So, you know, they're going to be like, hey, you, did, you made all this money. You didn't give us the piece of the pie. Um, so, he, you know, here's your bill. You know, this is what you owe us. And I don't want you to be stuck being like, oh, man, what happened? You know, I don't have all this money that I made. Now I'm in debt. Now I owe the tax, man. Now, not only that, now it's penalties on top of that. It's just going to turn into a big mess, man. I don't want you guys to do that. Um, just, you know, be responsible, you know, be an adult, keep a track of everything that you're doing. Um, for me personally, I cut back on trading for, um, you know, for one, because I, I sucked. <laughs> I first starting out, they trying to day trade, you know, I got crushed, you know, I, I can admit it, I, I sucked at it. But, you know, I, I, at least I tried, right? But like I said, I never traded before, so I'm still learning. I'm going to ease myself back into it. But for right now, I've just been on the sidelines, just pretty much just buying and holding. 
um, less trading for me. So, you know, less, you know, transactions, less fees and et cetera. So until I can find a better way how I'm going to um, pay my tax based on the sale, um, you know, I'm trying to um, do everything, you know, right, correctly. Because like I said, I'm here for the uh, long term. And yeah, I don't, I don't want the tax man messing up my Lamborghini or my, uh, my, or my McLaren, right? Um, while everybody else is getting Lamborghinis and McLarens, um, they're, they're going to lose their Lamborghinis because the tax man is going to be like, hey, you didn't pay no tax. We need that Lamborghini back. While me and you, the smart people, is going to be like, whoa, 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 whoa. I pay my tax. You're not taking my Lamborghini. I have the receipts and everything. So you want to be that person. You want to you want to be the smart guy, right? While everybody getting their Lambos taken, me and you is going to be in Lambos, you know, laughing at those people for not being, you know, being responsible, right? Not, not, you know, handling their business. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Go ahead and read this article. I'm going to have this link below. Um, you know, it just talks about how they're finally trying to catch up and things like that, especially this year in 2018. Um, uh, a lot of regulations going to start coming in. A lot of governments are going to start um, doing certain things um, to, for one, slow down cryptocurrency because it's just grown so fast and people's making a lot of money. So, you know, so if people's making a lot of money, so it's their opportunity for them to make money as well. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. And so, yeah, guys, I just want you guys just to be educated, be smart. Um, you know, I want to make this channel into an educational channel. You know, I don't want to do, you know, hypes and things like that, um, you know, uh, with my videos with different cryptocurrencies because, you know, I don't want to, you know, make the impressions that, you know, hey, buy this cryptocurrency because I bought it. You know, that's not true. I always want you guys to do your due diligence, do your homework, um, you know, so, um, but yeah, I'm still going to start I'm still going to talk about cryptocurrencies, you know, certain ones and things like that. The good ones, everything I talk about, um, you know, I try to make it, you know, as clear as possible about what they're trying to do. You know, is there a use case? Is there, you know, is there, is this, can this really happen in the real world, right? So that's something that I wanted to do. And yeah, guys, um, yeah, man, cryptocurrency is here. As you guys can see, go to cryptocurrency, um, coinmarketcap.com. Uh, the market cap is is high from the last video I made from you know two nights ago. It was about four hundred ninety billion dollars. So it did climb up. It's not so much of a bloodbath as you guys can see here. It's a lot of green. So um, I like that, man. I like that, man. So hold on, man. Just hold on. Uh, this is a new month we're we're getting into today. is the thirty first. Tomorrow's the first February. So hopefully February we, we get um get get those gains back. You know, start kicking butt again. So I'm definitely excited about what what February has to offer. Uh, we went through a lot of a lot of that madness, a lot of that fud in January. So hopefully this will be a good start for cryptocurrency. As you guys can see, um, definitely a lot of green. So yeah, give this video a thumbs up. Give this video a thumbs down. All feedback is good feedback. And um, yeah, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, I'm gonna keep it going, um, keep it pushing, and I'm here for the long term, guys. And um, yeah, just just hot up. <laughs>